an Ethiopian refugee camp just outside Magdala, the misery has returned. Once again, the world didn't listen in time. The same mistakes were repeated. Starvation and death cast a long shadow over this land. The refugees flock into the camps by the thousands each day. It's utterly heartbreaking. When I return to Gotham, I'll send out another check to help the effort and try to forget what I've seen here. I'm no different from anyone else. There's only so much even Bruce Wayne and Batman can do. These grim surroundings momentarily cause me to forget the real reason we're here. But one look at Jason Todd's features bring it all back to me. We've come to find his real mother. We have one last candidate to interview. Dr. Sheila Haywood. You'll find her in that tent. It's her office. Thanks. Jason, wait up! Guess I can't fault the lad's impatience. How often in life do you get to meet your own mother for the first time? Dr. Haywood, excuse me. I'm... As soon as I see her, I know we've hit pay dirt. Jason's got her eyes. I recognize you from my days in Gotham. You're Bruce Wayne, the millionaire. What are you doing here? I'd like to introduce you to a young friend of mine. His name's Jason Todd. Todd? Oh my god. Mother? Jason? Mother, mother, mother! I can see that this revelation has floored Dr. Haywood. It's going to take her some time to get used to the idea of being a mother again. The look in her eyes is my cue to exit. Think I'll leave you two alone, to get to know each other. I'll stop back in a couple of hours, to find out what your plans are, Jason. I drive off, wondering if I've just lost another partner. I was a struggling med student when I met and fell in love with your father. Shortly after you were born, I got in trouble when an operation I was assisting on got botched. The incident put an end to my medical career back in the States. Willis was supposed to join me once I got settled in England. But your dad fell in love with a Katherine Johnson before I could send for him. Willis wrote to me about her, telling me that they'd been married a few days earlier. I thought it best to let them raise you as their own. I had neither the funds for or any hope of winning custody of you in a legal battle. Besides, a custody fight would have been too rough on you. I finally accepted the fact that I'd probably never see you again. God, it must have been hard for you. I managed. My work helped me get through. Speaking of work, you're going to have to excuse me for a little while, Jason. Huh? It's camp business I can't get out of, Jason. Wait outside. Maybe you can help with the food dispersal? I'll be done in an hour or so. Okay. So that's the business that couldn't wait. I wonder who. Holy cow! <laughs> 